Okay, so when you, you travel in the space, there's two major sources of radiation. One is from the sun, so, so solar particle events, we call them. And these are events that are unpredictable, so you don't know on a, on a, on a short-term basis what size event will occur and uh, when they will occur. And then the second source is the galactic cosmic rays. The galactic cosmic rays are actually the bigger challenge. They're a steady background of radiation. It's a different type of radiation than occurs on Earth. So it's called highly ionizing radiation. So at some point, you're, you're, the mission length limits you. So the, they're not easily shielded against. Uh, and they're made up of protons through heavy ions. And heavy ions are sort of like your periodic chart moving at you at the speed of light. So you have the, the nucleus of all those atoms you see on the periodic chart moving very fast. So it's just the electrons get stripped off and you just have the nucleus. And they're, they're very ionizing and very different from what we're used to on Earth. The solar protons are similar to X-rays and gamma rays. So they uh, have similar ioniz ionization power and they, they can be shielded. So it's just a matter of being prepared when the event will start and also uh, exactly how much shielding do you need. So the solar events are different than the galactic cosmic rays. So there, the problem is we know we can't shield them. They're just too much mass is required to shield against them. And, but also, we don't know exactly what it will do to you. So when we say that there's a big problem for exploration, it's the uncertainty in the, in the estimates. It could be that we're estimating very high, or it could be we're estimating just right, or we could be estimating very low. That's what we're trying to get at is what is really going to happen to a, a human of a given age and gender uh, and other factors w when they're exposed to these radi types of radiation.